The LensX laser is um, probably the fastest laser that I have, and if someone's speed is the utmost importance, the LensX laser is extremely fast, and it probably is the, um, the easiest to use for the surgeon to control it. And that's what I seem to be drawn to about the LensX is that I can control everything on the software myself because there's a little mouse and button uh, right in front of me. So it saves a little time for me to uh, be clicking on the different uh, software applications and be uh, repositioning anything that needs to be repositioned and moving it myself with little time delay or communication needed from an assistant. So that's a very nice feature of that particular laser. I always use a speculum for this particular device. I just find it easier. You're doing perfect, Cornelia. You hold real still, look right up here. And this is the single patient interface device here with a little soft flange at the bottom with this cone. And this is on a floating ballast weight system here for pressure. Make sure the patient's looking straight up. And sometimes by looking at the side here, you can just make sure that you're tucking inside the eyelids, especially with a tight orbital fissure. And once you get down on the eye a little bit, I start looking at the screen. And then what we do is wait till the cornea is centered and we get just a little compression and we ask for vacuum. Vacuum on. You can see that all the bubbles disappear and everything is holding perfectly still. Cornelia, you hold real still. We're in the green here. And I like to drive this laser myself. So what I'll do is I'll just, if I want to change anything, I can just go to the different um, parameters here. Like here, I can change the whole position of the LRI. I can drag it or drop it closer to the limbus. So we'll put it there. It looks like a good position. If we want to adjust the lens position of the capsular rexus, the fragmentation of the rexus, I can slide or move this around. I can drag and drop that. I can also change my rexus size over here. I can make it smaller or make it bigger like this. And once we have everything in good position, then what we'll do is we'll hit scan, and that's going to scan the interior segment. This is an OCT-based imaging system. First thing it's going to do is identify the capsule, which it automatically recognizes. And then after it does that, it's going to then go and recognize the lens after we hit accept. And then what it's going to do is find the um, lens treatment. You see it drops the treatment right here perfectly between the anterior capsule and the posterior capsule. We'll accept that. And then we go on to check the uh, arcuate parameters. And here it's automatically finding the anterior and posterior corneal aspects. And we like that. So we'll accept that. And then we hit verify and accept. You hold real still sway, the laser's working. And then just by stepping on the pedal, we can watch the screen and watch the laser working. You can see that it first cuts the capsular rexus. Little bubbles form in the anterior chamber. That's how we know that we're getting a complete cut. That's some gas release. Then it starts, drops down into the bottom part of the nucleus and treats from bottom up. And now it's doing a fragmentation. This is a matrix fragmentation pattern. Some people call it a waffle or cube pattern. I like to use it and then there's the arcuate incision out over here. So that's a very basic, simple lens X operation. Then using the joystick, just lift up the gantry and we can take the lid speculum out and move the patient into the operating room for the cataract surgery.